woman is only as valuable as her past. I don't care what no woman says. Ooh. A woman is only as valuable as her past. Look, it's the reason why when you go to... Now, wait a minute, my guy. Who you speaking for? Because you most certainly ain't speaking for me because I got a past myself. This is double standard in its purest form. Hold on. I had to go see what the Bible said about this one. Go to John chapter 8, verses 3 through 12. And see, this is why I love the word, because it'll always humble you. It said the scribes and the Pharisees. What color were the scribes and the Pharisees back then? They were black. And I pointed out that it was black men because for some reason, men tend to believe sometimes that they are the gift to God's green earth. As if we're not capable of having the same flaws. I'm talking about trauma, emotional issues, abandonment issues, mama and daddy issues, self-control issues. Yeah, that lust will get the best of you. How many women you done slept with, my guy? I ain't seen no ring on your face. How many lies you done told, my guy? You mean to tell me if you met a woman and you started to feel her and then she said, I want to know everything about you. And then you told her, oh, you lied before in your last relationship. But then you try to justify it by saying, oh, she didn't trust me. Every time I was out, I was doing this, this, and that. And I was trying to avoid confrontation. And then that woman say to you, oh, no, because I'd rather you keep it real with me and let me feel how I feel versus lying to me, period. And then she hits you with the, now nah, you only as valuable as your past. If you a lie about something that small, oh, you a lie about anything. But see, the beauty about this passage is we get to see that love covers a multitude of sin. By the time he drew that line and got the writing in the sand and looked up, then he looked over her, she looking at him, they looking at each other. He said, where your accusers go? She said, oh, I guess they left. He said, oh, well, if they don't condemn you, neither do I. So my question to you and the rest of them scribes and Pharisees that was on their podcast with you that didn't stand against what you were saying about a woman is only as valuable as our past, have you ever done something? Because the word also say when I was a child, I thought I was a child. I also did childish things. But once I grew up and I realized what was going on, it said I did away with childish things. So my next question is, do you believe in change? Because I'm going to shoot it straight with you. My past is a beast, but my testimony is beautiful. And if any woman ever fix her mouth to say, oh, no, Joti, you only as valuable as your past. I'm going to laugh at her because my past made me who I am today.